National spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party can speak no more than three minutes. Your time starts now. Secularism is not dying in India. Explain why. Members of the jury, this August gathering, the opposition argues that secularism is dying in India. I want to give you a sad piece of news. Nehruvian version of secularism is dead. And I've worn black clothes so that I can reiterate that the pallbearers of Nehruvian secularism ought to know that it's never coming back. That secularism which says that women and men can't have equal rights in the name of personal laws from Shabanu to Triple Talak is dead. That secularism which says that the Uniform Civil Code should not be applied and a nine-year-old girl should get married to a 60-year-old who has three wives is dead and it's never coming back. That secularism which says that Tazia should come out on the streets but Durga Puja Visarjan Yatra should not till the time the High Court has to intervene is dead, Riju Datta. And that secularism which says that the partition was secular but the CA law which was committed by Mahatma Gandhi to get the refugees back from Pakistan and Bangladesh is communal, is dead. Today I ask only one question, it's Ramzan. Ya Allah, mujhe is Nehruvian secularism se kya mila? Mila to keval lynching or riots Mila, Hashimpura, Bhagalpur, Meerut, Nalyana, Bhagalpur, all of these rights, Ahmedabad, Jalgaon, Nelly, Delhi, all of them happened under Nehruvian secularism's watch. 10,000 Muslims were chopped, it was almost 3,500 Sikhs who were butchered, and one Prime Minister got up and said, Bada ped girta hai, to dharti hilti hai, and Sajjan Kumar and Jagdish Taitler were defended in the name of Nehruvian secularism. I ask, what did I get in Nehruvian secularism? Zero taps, zero toilets, zero houses, zero bank accounts, and today when 25 crore people are out of poverty, when 13 crore people get toilets, 13 crore people get Nal Se Jal, Shaila gets it, Sagarika gets it, uh, Mohit gets it, Mohammed gets it, at that time secularism is in danger. I want to ask that what is this logic that when the UPA government bats for, secular, for CA law, when it implements it for two years, when it makes a parliamentary report that the Pakistani minorities, the Bangladeshi minorities should get it, when Manmohan Singh stands up and says in Rajya Sabha that we ought to have this law, and when Mahatma Gandhi advocated for it, it is secular then, but when the BJP walks the talk, it becomes communal. I want to also ask the question that today, abusing Sanatan, you said kicking a namazi, Ashitosh, abusing Sanatan and saying Sanatan should be eliminated. Udainidhi Stalin said it, High Court, Supreme Court came down heavily on it. That is secularism. But kicking a namazi is communism. Nobody justifies that. But I ask you today, when Ram Mandir is abused, when Ram Charitamanas is abused, and if I say, Sir, Tan Se Juda Mat Bolo, then I am communal. But Udainidhi Stalin saying that Sanatan should be eradicated is becoming secular. This is the double standard. Your hypocrisy should be dead, actually. When I go to a iftar party wearing a topi, I'm neither a Rosadar nor a Muslim, and I go to a state-sponsored iftar party, that is secular. But if a practicing Hindu does the Anushtan and goes to the Ram Mandir to Arpatishtha, that becomes communal. And to answer Swami, Papandas Gupta, India or Bharat was not secular because of the addition of a word in the preamble. Bharat was not secular because of some Nehruvian concept of secularism. Bharat has always been secular because Bharat has a majority of Hindus and the Hindus of this country are secular. And as long as the Hindus will be secular, Bharat will be secular. Nobody can take that away from us. Long live secularism.